Election 2008, Guam's primary election. This is the Pacific News Center. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Election 2008, Guam's primary election. I'm Mana Silva. Let's take a quick look at PacificNewsCenter.com. We'll be posting the numbers here throughout the night. Nothing to report on that so far, but joining us in the studio this evening is former Vice Speaker of the Guam Legislature, Joanne Brown. Joanne, one of the top stories tonight is what seems to be like low voter turnout. What's your take on the voter turnout? Well, actually, I don't think it's a big surprise. I mean, you're looking at a non-gubernatorial election to begin with, and you're looking at a primary election. Uh, so it's not uncommon uh, during primary elections in a non-gubernatorial year that you're going to have a low voter turnout. I mean, there's not yet the level of excitement. I don't think a lot of people in the community outside of the political circle are feeling that momentum yet. And mm -hmm. I'm sure as we get closer to the gubernatorial, I mean, until November, and we start uh, narrowing down the political parties, for example, at the mayoral level, who's going to be uh, the Republican uh, nominee and who's going to be the Democratic nominee, I think you're going to see a lot more excitement as we get closer. Uh, to the November election. But again, it's not the same. Uh, when you're in a non-gubernatorial year, you just don't have that, that level of interest and momentum of the general public in the same way. What was it feel when you uh, went out to cast your vote today? Did you feel that same energy as when you were running for the legislature? Well, it's a little different when you're a candidate. Uh, the world <laughs> looks tremendously different when you're a candidate. Uh, normally, as I saw some of the candidates today, I, I vote in the village of Orta Chalampago, so I was there this morning with my family. Uh, but this afternoon, I was down in Petey, and I, I noticed some of the candidates that are running for uh, the Guam legislature. They're out doing the rounds, normally going down to the southern part of Guam in the morning and afternoon, and then as the evening uh, gets close to 8 o'clock, they're heading up to Jigo and to Dedido and certainly uh, to Timuni because that's the biggest voting blocks on the island. So when you're a candidate, your day is a little different and certainly a lot more busier than uh, my simple job of simply showing up at the polling place and Thank casting you. a vote. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more mm -hmm. as the night progresses, but what's your take on the McNinch poll? or the Democrats seem to be taking over the legislature in the general election. Did you? Well, I, you know, certainly I, I have to always speak well of my party, but at the <laughs> same time, uh, that's a challenge for the Republican Party this time around. Uh, we've had the benefit for quite a number of years of serving in the majority, but there's a lot of work, time, and effort, and also the opportunity to have the candidates that were there. Uh, when I started back in 1994 running for the Guam legislature, I already had six years of experience in the Adel Blas administration, and so did a number of the senator, senatorial candidates that were running and were successful in getting elected. Uh, that's a challenge now, is where is the incubator in terms of orientating and preparing uh, new candidates mm -hmm. that you know are sharp, smart, articulate, politically savvy. They're, they're not easy to come by. Uh, there are not that many out there, and if there's no grooming and encouragement in that sense, um, you know, there's a challenge for both parties. And, and right now, I think the Republicans have to work on that, and the Democrats have to work on it, too. I don't think you can sit back too much, because even, even the Democratic Party does not have a lot of new up-and-coming. Right. Uh, even the ones that they have have been known in public life for quite some time, even if they've not served in the legislature, have only served their first term in the legislature. Political affiliation. So, yeah, they're, you know, both parties got some work to do there, but there's no doubt the Republican Party has some work ahead of it. Okay. We'll hear more of uh, Joanne's for, by, former Vice Speaker Joanne Brown's insight throughout the evening. So make sure you tune into the Pacific News Center for that. Now, politics.